Today's topic is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, what you need to know. Benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, typically abbreviated to BPPV, is one of the most common causes of vertigo. Vertigo makes you feel like your surroundings are moving or spinning all around you. BPPV is caused by crystals moving inside the ear from one part to another, which disrupts signals to the brain. Anyone can develop this condition, but it is prevalent in people over the age of 50. More than that, it is far more common in women than it is in men. It is not a life-threatening condition, but it can prove to cause quite a lot of discomfort in your daily life. Let's look at benign paroxysmal positional vertigo in detail. The inner ear is made up of the cochlea and the vestibular system. The former helps convert vibrations into nerve impulses traveling to the brain. The latter is made of a labyrinth of membranes, bones, and semicircular canals responsible for keeping the body's balance and coordination intact. BPPV occurs once the calcium carbonate crystals, which are usually present in the membranous labyrinth, move into the semicircular canals. Once a significant amount of calcium carbonate makes it into the semicircular canals, they disrupt fluid movement. This causes disruption and alteration in the signals going to the brain. Vertigo can be triggered by movement as the crystals react to gravity. Head positions that can trigger BPPV include 1. Rolling over in bed 2. Bending forward 3. Lying on the side Symptoms Symptoms of BPPV vary in intensity and duration between individuals. They usually last for less than a minute but can go on for several days. Common symptoms of BPPV are 1. Dizziness 2. Vertigo 3. Loss of balance 4. Feeling lightheaded 5. Problems with vision 6. Nausea 7. Vomiting 8. Nystagmus, which causes involuntary rapid eye movement Diagnosis a BPPV diagnosis is typically done by asking for a medical and family history, followed by a physical examination and some tests. Tests include an MRI scan and electronystagmography ENG, to check eye movements, an electroencephalogram EEG, to check brain activity, and a Dix-Hallpike test. The Dix-Hallpike test is a physical examination that tries to induce vertigo through head movement. Treatment. Treatment for BPPV involves focusing on reducing vertigo and dizziness while improving visibility. The Epley maneuver involves a routine of head movements and exercises that help displace the calcium carbonate crystals from the semicircular membranes. Brant Daroff exercises accomplish the same but are less effective as they help release buildups of calcium carbonate crystals. Finally, you may need to take a beta histine which is a medication for vertigo and BPPV. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.